Good day, mates. How's it going? Air here from the land down under. I'll be sharing a series of videos of my Australia travel 2023. Welcome back to my channel. I want to share the things that I tried personally. This is just my opinion based on my research, experience, observation, and I'm not an expert. If you enjoy what you see, please like, share, and subscribe. Here is the video of my second day we went to Melbourne Central Business District, one hour from Tula Marine Airport. It was a chilly autumn morning in Australia and it was so hard to get up from a very cozy bed due to jet lag, but we really had to go since we're so excited to visit Melbourne City. New place, new adventure. Yay! I went downstairs, had Dan's delicious espresso coffee and some bread for breakfast. Took a hot shower to be ready before 7 a.m. since my friend Din needs to go to work at the city. We walked about 3 minutes to Basewater train station as I smelled Australian cold autumn breeze that's kissing my face. I was feeling high to thinking I will ride a train for the first time. I imagine zombie apocalypse as I enter the train. It gives me chill knowing I am on a train, teary-eyed looking at my friend who made it possible to let me experience this wonderful things. But I made sure it's not that obvious because it's embarrassing. She might know I am a crying baby when it comes to this. That is just an overwhelming once in a lifetime experience of my life so I definitely enjoy every minute of it. We also rode a bus and tram on that day to experience all public transportation in Australia. We walked to NAB office, Melbourne Marvel Stadium, Victoria Harbour, Crown Hotel, etc. We lost our way for two hours walking, but luckily we found our way back and rode a tram to Parliament Building. Then walk again through Queen Street, Elizabeth Street, King Street, William Street, and other streets back to NAB to see my friend again. While walking back, we bought food at 7-Eleven, then ate at the bench just like the regular Australian folks. We were talking in Tibuano, gossiping how they talk really, really fast, that I cannot understand a single word even if they're just talking in English. They dress up really cool leather jackets and boots, wearing sunglasses. There were musicians everywhere on the streets playing violin, guitar, keyboards, etc. There are beautiful and clean parks everywhere that you can stand by and chill for free. This place is family friendly and pleasant. If given the chance to choose a country to have a family and to raise my children, I will choose Australia, Canada, or UK.
there you have it. Dreams do come true. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.